you don't leave. If you don't leave my family alone and if you don't get out of here, you're going to be hurting like you never dreamed. Could you repeat that? Defense attorney Nick Nolte is plagued by a criminal, Robert De Niro, who feels Nolte betrayed him in Martin Scorsese's remake of Cape Fear. One of five new movies we'll be reviewing this week on Cisco and Ebert. Get you on the side, Let's do this. Who is Loretta, anyway? That's the love of my life. No longer with us. I thought I was the love of Chopped your life. Chopped up at the 52 piece. <laughs> <laughs> you heard you like this, huh, my guy? No. Heard you like this? I told you we never did this. <laughs> you heard you like this? How's that feel? He's a rough one. <laughs> How's this feel? <laughs> oh my God! Am I under arrest? <laughs> You're not quite, darling. <laughs> Officer, I swear, it's all a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> that guy hurt you like this? What he did to me hurt a lot worse than this. <laughs> <laughs> When it comes to portraying sudden explosions of passion and violence, no director is more gifted than Martin Scorsese. And his new movie, Cape Fear, is a terrifying tragedy about an ex-convict who wants vengeance from the attorney he believes is responsible for a 14-year prison sentence. Robert De Niro stars as the ex-con who has returned after his prison term to intimidate and terrorize the family of Nick Nolte. De Niro is frightening and effective as an oily psychotic who knows how to get under people's skins. Here he confronts Nolte's wife, played by Jessica Lange. Well, you're Max Katie, aren't you? You know you better get the hell out of here before I call the police. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just giving you back your dog collar. I'm not on your property. Well, what'd you come out here for? You want to look around? Go ahead, Mr. Katie, take a good look. Nice house. Yeah, it is a nice house. You satisfied now? You seen it? And here De Niro poses as a drama teacher, insinuating himself into the confidence of Nolte's daughter, played by Juliette Lewis. Her performance is a key to this movie because she's at war with her parents, and in a way, she is seduced by De Niro's forbidden appeal. You thought about me last night, didn't you? <sighs> um, yes, I did. Do you mind if I put my arm around you? No one is at peace in this family where mother, father, and daughter are all alienated from one another. Even when Nolte tries to be a good father, he's carried away by his anger. What are you laughing about? Why, why are you smiling? I'm asking you a question. Did he touch you? Didn't let that smile off your face. I'm asking you, did he touch you? Cape Fear is based on a 1962 thriller starring Robert Mitchum as the ex-con, and he appears in this one as a cop who advises Nolte to take the law into his own hands. But Scorsese has turned up the heat under that original story. He's also made it very difficult for us to identify with any of the characters. Everyone in this movie is flawed or dishonest in one way or another, including the Nick Nolte character, and the message seems to be that evil corrupts everyone who comes into contact with it. The scariest element of the film for me is De Niro's perverse charm as he persecutes this family. He is sadistic, he is evil, but like a wounded animal that cannot help its violent nature, he kind of gets under our skin. And it's also frightening the way the daughter seems seduced by the darkest and most satanic elements in her environment. She has a smile that's the most disturbing thing in the film. I thought the movie's final violent struggle went on too long and that De Niro's character talked too much when he should have been crazed with pain, but I think Cape Fear is a strong film, an unremitting portrait of evil in a world where good is not an option for anybody. Yeah, the weakness of the picture, I thought, was the ending, which <clears throat> did go on, and yeah. there were some jokes uh, when they talked about two lawyers going at it and all that. I think that, <laughs> that he's doing a little bit of David Lynch's kind of material, yeah. but he does it with such big stars that it doesn't play as right, it doesn't play as jokey. Mm -hmm. um, 
But for me, the picture was more about the classic Scorsese theme of a, of a man who's a sinner trying to redeem himself, mm -hmm. washing, as we see in the movie, washing literally the blood off of his hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The sin, of course, of infidelity in the marriage, uh, the sin of uh, all kinds of mixed feelings about his wife and his daughter, mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, the sinning professionally by not doing everything he should have done as a lawyer to protect this client. And for me, that was the most frightening character. Nick Nolte, a very restrained, average man kind of performance, mm -hmm. uh, average man kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. And and can he get out of this mess? And Nolte is very good in this yes, film. Yes, he in is. In fact, the acting throughout the film he doesn't is... over he doesn't go over the top. No, he, he no. stays tight. But you're quite right that this is a Scorsese film because, of course, the traditional treatment of this story would have been Nolte as the good guy yes. trying to protect his family, and the family bands together behind him, and here's this crackpot outside. But in this film, the evil is inside everyone, and they're all trapped in the same kind of hell. Oh, Max. <laughs>